While we know this is not an overnight fix to an invasive problem, it is a step in the right direction to creating a safer Columbus. Tonight, Columbus City Council passed what members are calling common sense gun legislation. Good evening to you, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Carrie Charles. I'm Colleen Marshall. The ordinance approved tonight does three specific things. It bans civilians from possessing uh, magazines that could hold 30 or more rounds. It criminalizes straw sales and it penalizes those who do not store firearms safely when they know a minor could access them. The move comes after a judge issued a preliminary injunction on a state law that prevented cities from creating their own gun laws. Columbus has not been immune to gun violence. It has long played our city, robbing us of our most valuable asset our people. We have seen how gun violence has ripped through our communities, especially among our youth. The gun rights advocacy group Buckeye Firearms Association issued a statement tonight vowing to challenge the ordinance in court, writing in part, quote, it is time for city officials to stop wasting taxpayer dollars in their futile effort to flout state law. Columbus City Council also voted tonight to take action against certain bars and businesses, bringing them one step closer to losing their liquor licenses. City leaders say these places have histories of violence and other public safety issues, but leaders from one of the businesses are defending it. NBC4's Eric Halpern live tonight at City Hall with more on what happens next. Eric. Carrie, what happened tonight is council objected to the renewal of liquor licenses for 12 businesses here in the city. The final say will be with the state's division of liquor control and a lot can happen between now and then. If you take up this city's resources by having hundreds of police and fire calls for service or someone is shot, stabbed, murdered, inside or outside of your establishment, this city attorney and this council will strenuously object to your operation inside these city limits. Columbus City Council going through its annual vote on objections to liquor license renewals provided by the city attorney's office. According to the city attorney, the list is based on establishments with violent histories, other public safety issues, and liquor violations. Tonight, for these establishments, this is another invitation to have a conversation with the city attorney's office to establish safety pro protocol. On Monday, council approved the objections to 12 liquor license renewals. Of those 12 places, only one had community members speak about it. Julep in the short north. Julep is simply a bad neighbor. The entire time I've lived there, I've had to endure the nuisance, destruction, and danger brought about by the surroundings um, of their patrons and the environment created by their patrons. 37-year-old local bartender Gregory Coleman died in September after being assaulted outside Julep. Two residents who live nearby spoke in favor of council's decision. Two people, Julep's head of security and general manager, are defending the bar. Safety for my staff and guests has and will always be my number one priority. And we've continued to be one of the safest bars in the short north, regardless of what is being reported. And Councilmember Emmanuel Rumi says this is a long process that the conversations do not end tonight and issues can be resolved before there's even a hearing with the state. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.